Hey guys, um, you guys are going to be so tired of me by the end of this week, I think. I promise this is my last video, um, for probably until the end of the week. Um, I made another flip book, and as you can see, this is Halloween. So, Kim, if you are watching, please click off now, because this is for you. Um, Kim, who is Snap Diva 1, and I decided to do a, um... Halloween flip book swap and so because I've been on a roll I decided to go ahead and knock this one out for her it is very thick I'm kind of afraid it might fall apart on her um, but I do want to show you I did something different with the binding on this one to try to reinforce it and on the side here there is some of this um, corrugated cardboard this is one of those card bases from recollections I just cut these down, folded them in half, and um, <clears throat> tried to score them, and then glued those on, and then I put the washi tape over as um, just an extra measure, and also as decorations. You can see on the back here, I've got the corrugated cardboard on here, and so far it seems to be helping because um, this book is way too thick. I didn't mean to do it that thick, but you guys know I get crazy with embellishing, so... This is the front here. I really love it. This is a Recollections paper pad. This is really like the only Halloween stuff I bought last Halloween. And I love it. It's called Midnight Magic. And it's all like blacks, grays, whites, and gold. And then some cream. So I used that paper pad. This is a frame. American Crafts frame. And um, there's just like some mixed embellishments. A lot of Michaels, Jolie's super old like Martha Stewart and as I've said in my previous videos I've just been stash diving so there's a mix of Halloween items and then also items that aren't necessarily Halloween but they match the color scheme so that is the front and then this one folds a little bit differently it's a tri-fold and then it also has a fold that flips down so when you first open it up, there is this little tag here. This is actually a Dear Lizzie tag with a little uh, glittered spider. And then this little cute mason jar was sent to me, excuse me, in a um, swap from Isabel. And it's so adorable. So I added this little googly eyed um, skull. And I just adhered it with a piece of washi so she can take that off and use it. She could use the tag. And then there is a little waterfall effect with these. These are like super old. I've had them for a long time. They are from the Martha Stewart collection, one of the Halloween collections. Just adhered down with a piece of washi. And I just put some little spider um, Martha Stewart stickers on there. And there's the doilies and the webs. So there's that there. And then there's just like a little scene here. There's a little mad scientist with his little potions and some little spiders. And then on this side here, um, there's a little mummy and there's a little picture. And then these, this is a little ephemera she could use. And these are actually... I don't remember the brand, but I decorated this up with a sticker, and it just says love. And then this one says, watch out, the witch is in. And a lot of these are, again, things that have been in my stash from Martha Stewart. I haven't really bought any Halloween stuff, surprisingly, in a while. I haven't really loved any of the collections, and that's saying a lot because I love Halloween. So then you can see this is where it opens again. And there's so there's a trifold, and then this actually, um, I'll show you this one first because this flips down. I just have adhered on here some tags, these are from Martha Stewart, and so I just have those on there with some silver paper clips. And then there is a little pumpkin guy, some recollection spider web bling with. Um, spiders and then this little Halloween again a sentiment I've had for a long time and a little bow and then it flips down like this 
And on here I just have two little coordinating binder clips you could take off and use or alter. And then there's this um, skull that says Fright Fest, as well as a little key and another little skull with Boo. And then these are just clipped on here with a binder clip. Um, there's just this tag, and then there's the spider tag, this really pretty foiled um, damask, this bat tag that's embossed, and then this cute little foil tag. And then um, on here, this one I just kept basic because it's just a um, it's just a gold sheet of paper. But I adhered down this um, rub on that has these spider webs and spiders, and I I still wanted you to be able to see some of that. So I just included a little. This is a little black banner she could use. It's a stitch banner. And then there's a sheet or a little piece of this bling, and there's this spiderweb punch border, as well as this little um, f um, title. It says Bat Spiders and Eye of Newt. So that's just on there. There's a little googly eye bat, and then this is just a little banner. So that flips back up. And then on this page here, um, this is so cute. I didn't want to cover up too much because it's this foil with bats and there's a little spider and there's a little spider with his little um, web. This is Happy Halloween. There's a little button and a little Recollections Ant. And then these are little page corners and there's these um, two little tags here. And there's just like this little bottle cap ephemera and it says October 31st. And there's this little googly eye bat. And then this one here is just a little Frankenstein. It says double double toil and trouble fire, fire burn and cauldron bubble. And this one has a cute little ribbon at the top. So those just slide into there. Just like that. So there's a lot of little goodies she could take off and use. Probably a good idea because this thing might explode if she doesn't because um, it's so thick. Again, I didn't mean to do that, but I wanted to do a different type of fold than I had done. So I don't think I realized um, all of the goodies that I was adding on there were quite as dimensional as they were. So... Yep, and then on the back, it's just, I already shared with you, it's just this sheet, and it's got the washi, and you can see the little corrugated chipboard, and then I kind of just have it like semi-closed with this little American Crafts bat clothespin. It came just like that, so I didn't do anything fancy to it, but hopefully she enjoys it, and let me know what you guys think. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. So I'm always ready to craft Halloween all year round. So thanks for watching guys. I'll talk to you soon.